hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video i have got five super easy and delicious crock pot recipes to share with you guys we did try a couple new recipes and i cannot wait to share those as well let's go ahead and get cooking y'all First step is honey garlic pork chops. This was our first time trying this recipe and it was amazing. I will make sure to have the full recipe linked down below so y'all can get exact measurements and everything. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix together the sauce. It is brown sugar, some garlic, ketchup, W sauce, and of course, honey. We're just gonna mix that together well and sit that aside. Before I added the pork chops into the crock pot, I did season and sear them on the stove just for a couple minutes to give them a little bit of color and lock in that flavor. And I'm just going to layer up the pork chops and that sauce and just making sure everything is well coated. Now I'm just going to put the lid on it and cook this on low for about four to six hours. Now that our pork chops are done, we're gonna remove them from our crock pot, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of a cornstarch slurry just to thicken up that sauce. That way it coats well on our pork chops. Now that we have our cornstarch slurry added in, we're gonna go ahead and add our pork chops back in. I do try to take a spoon and kind of coat the pork chops a little bit with that nice thick sauce. And then I'm gonna put the lid on it, keep it on warm until it's time to eat. I'm just gonna finish up the sides and everything's ready to go. Here are the honey garlic pork chops. I'm telling y'all, they were delicious. If you're looking for a new recipe, definitely give this one a try. We served it with some red skin mashed potatoes and some home canned sweet carrots. And this was a 10 out of 10, so, so delicious. There's nothing better than a delicious beef roast on a Sunday afternoon right after church. If I'm cooking for my family on Sundays, I definitely want it to be easy and crock pot recipes are my personal way to go. I have got this three packet pot roast. I will make sure to have the recipe link down below. Now I am doubling it because I'm feeding about 10 people whenever I feed everybody after church. It's normally about 10 people, including all the kiddos and everything. And so this recipe is super easy to throw together. Really, really late, like in the middle of the night. And then you have a fall apart tender pot roast by lunchtime on a Sunday. For a single recipe, you're gonna need a two to three pound beef chuck roast, one packet of dry ranch, one packet of brown gravy, and one packet of au jus. Just sprinkle all of those right on the top. You're gonna pour in water around the roast. I do it about halfway up. Now for me, where I was doubling it, um, it kind of just cooked down and I made sure to switch them before I went to church. That way I knew that they both would be really tender. Now when I am doubling this recipe, I do only use one stick of butter. That, like a single recipe calls for one stick, but even if I'm doubling it, I still just use one stick of butter because I personally think one stick is just enough. But I'm going to add all the ingredients in, put the lid on it, and you want your roast to cook about 10 hours. You wanna make sure it's nice and fall apart tender. To go along with our roast, we're gonna make some crock pot mashed potatoes. They are my personal favorite way to make mashed potatoes. They are so, so good. So I've just got my potatoes there. I have peeled them, washed them, cut them up, and I'm covering them with some water. I'm adding in some chicken bouillon powder, but you can use chicken broth or stock instead of the water and the bouillon. Just whatever you keep on hand is fine. And then we're just gonna season that up with some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. You just season with your heart, which you know that your family enjoys and then we're going to give them a stir put the lid on them and we're going to cook these on high for about four hours now that our potatoes are done we're going to drain them and then i'm going to go ahead and add in some evaporated milk and butter into the bottom of my crock pot and that's just going to start heating up when you warm your dairy up when you add it to your mashed potatoes it makes them nice and fluffy and creamy and smooth and they are delicious I'm gonna add the drained potatoes back in and I'm just gonna mash them with a hand masher. 
I have used an electric mixer before and I actually cracked a crock pot. So be careful if you're using an electric mixer in a crock pot because you can crack it. Um, if it touches the side with it being hot, um, it can definitely crack it. <laughs> I've had this done by experience, but I'm just going to mix them up. Of course, just add in more seasoning if you need more. And then just add more dairy if you need more, depending on the consistency that you want your mashed potatoes. Right before serving, I broke up my roast. You guys, it was fall apart tender, so delicious. There's our roast, our mashed potatoes. We also had some rolls, some cheesy broccoli, and some of our corn that we put up back in July. And this was the perfect Sunday dinner. We tried a new recipe in the crock pot. This Cajun Alfredo is definitely delicious and a must try recipe. I will make sure to have it linked down below for you guys. Now you can definitely change out the proteins. I chose to do smoked sausage and chicken. Before I added my chicken in, I did season it and sear it on both sides just to lock in the flavor and give it a little bit of color. Then we're gonna add in our chicken broth, or in my case, water and chicken bouillon. And then I'm gonna add in my heavy cream and some minced garlic, and I'm gonna put the lid on it and let this cook for about four to six hours. Now that the chicken is cooked, we are going to remove it from the crock pot. It was fall apart tender and it was kind of hard to get out as you can see, but I did remove it and shred it up and then I will put it back in. Now, if you follow the recipe, it will have you add in water and your noodles and continue cooking for 30 minutes to an hour. I have never had good luck cooking noodles in the crock pot and so I cook mine separate. So that will be a little bit different according to if you're following the recipe, but that's just me. I've never had luck cooking noodles in the crock pot. I've tried it a bunch of different ways and it has just never worked out for me. Now we're gonna add in our cooked pasta and add in some cheese. Now where I didn't cook the pasta in this, like according to the recipe, next time I make this, I will do less chicken broth at the beginning, just so it's nice and thick and it really coats well onto the pasta. I did notice that it was on the runnier side and I had to add in quite a bit of cheese just to get it to the consistency that we liked. Um, but I just taste tested it, seasoned, gave it some extra Cajun seasoning, and I also had some spinach on hand that needed to be used up. So I did add in a couple handfuls of spinach, but that is also away from the recipe. But if you're new here, I don't always follow recipes to a T. I kind of change it up for my family's liking. But this was definitely a good recipe, and don't forget that I will have it linked down below. If you watch all of my videos, then you have definitely already seen this broccoli cheese soup on my channel. I shared it recently in a vlog, but there's a lot of people on here that don't watch vlogs and that's totally fine. I'm glad you're still here and you love my food content. So I definitely wanted to make sure to add it in to a food style video. That way it can get seen for those people that don't like vlogs. I will have the recipe linked down below, but this one is so easy. It is just a perfect dump and go crock pot meal. I'm gonna add in two bags of frozen broccoli. I like to use the florets because they're nice full pieces and it's not those hard ends. I'm also gonna add in some chopped onion and some chopped carrots and celery. Now I'm gonna add in my ham. I just went and picked up some lunch meat style ham and I just cubed it up. Then I'm gonna add in a block of cream cheese and a 16 ounce block, which is one pound of Velveeta. And then I'm gonna add in one quart of my home canned chicken broth, which you can use store-bought or you can use the water and the bouillon powder. I'm gonna give it a season with the Kinder's The Blend. You can use whatever seasonings you like, just season with your heart. I'm gonna add in my milk and my heavy cream. I'm gonna put the lid on it and let this cook on a low for about six to eight hours. Now I did go back every few hours to make sure to give it a stir. The veggies are gonna cook down, that cheese is gonna start softening up and melting and everything is just gonna start coming together. Here is what it looks like after it is all cooked down and the broccoli is soft, everything is cheesy. You guys, this is so, so good. 
Now I made homemade bread bowls. I will have the vlog linked down below where I shared this originally. I did share the bread bowls in that video. So if you want to see that, you can um, find it in the description box. But I will have the recipe for the bread bowl um, in case you don't want to watch the video and you just want the recipe. I will have it linked down below as well. But serving these in bread bowls was, ugh, it was like over the top so much better we topped it with some extra cheese and this was delicious you guys if you find yourself super stressed out just trying to feed your family at the end of the day definitely consider crock pot recipes you can easily throw a few ingredients into the crock pot in the mornings and have a delicious hearty meal by the end of the day i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope it gave you some new meal inspiration and i will see you in the next one bye guys